So here we've got the bulletin board that can be found in the shop. Um, we keep an events calendar, all, the, all of the certification drawings, um, contact information for the shop supervisors and the shop manager, and a schedule of when the supervisors will be here. We've also got an activity log for you to come and uh, sign whenever you come in so we can keep track of who's been in and out of the shop. And lastly, we've got a bookshelf that we keep different literature for the shop on. And also you can put your things in here if you need to while you're inside of the shop. Welcome to the green room. Here we have a variety of small hand tools and power equipment. To my left, you can see our tool cabinets. The first tool cabinet has everything from hammers, wrenches, and screwdrivers, and also our taps and dies. You can see the picture here shows us where to put our equipment when we're done with it. In the second tool cabinet, we have a variety of clamps, saws, and also our drill bit box. It's important to remember that when you're done with the tool, to put it in its proper place. We also have a variety of work surfaces located around this room and some small power equipment operated by battery. Up on this wall, you can see our drill and tap chart. This is used for threading holes or rods. One of the most important things about the green room is the safety glasses. Here we have all the safety glasses used around the shop. As you can see, we also have a variety of drill presses. And some more drill presses located over here. We also have a broken drill bit box. If you ever break a tool or drill bit, please place it in here so we can dispose of it properly and safely. We also have our first aid kit and a cutting speed and feed chart. Behind me you can see some sanders, we have some vices, and also a small vertical bandsaw used for cutting wood, plastic, and other small materials. Make sure that when you're done working that you clean up your work environment. We have several different brushes and pans and also air running throughout the shop so that you can properly clean your workspace. This is the blue room. This is where you'll be completing most of your blue certification. To my left is the small lathe. If you need to do any turning or facing on small parts, this is the machine that you'll use. In this corner is the milling and drilling machine. If you're working on any wood or plastics, you need to use this, this machine. Over here is the small vertical mill. If you're working on any small parts and you need, need to do machining on that, this is what you'll use. Behind it are some various tools that you'll find um, you may need to use in, in this area. Also, there's a picture up there to refer to when you're putting these tools back. Right here is the large uh, lathe, and if you need to do any machining on larger parts, you'll want to use this. Back here on this wall is a tap chart. If you need to refer to that while you're in here, you can. And also some fasteners for our mills are in the corner. This is our large vertical mill. Uh, similar function as the small one, but it's just you know for larger parts if you need to use that. Uh, in this room we've got two types of band saws. Here is our vertical band saw and our horizontal band saws down here. And then back here at the entrance to the blue room is our bench grinder. That pretty much covers it for the machines in here, but uh, when you're done please clean up using the shop vac and the brooms and brushes and dustpans that are available to you to leave your area better than it was when you found it. Welcome to the shop office. Here you can find the supervisor on duty if he's not somewhere else inside the shop. If you ever have problems locating a tool inside our tool cabinets, you can also ask the shop supervisor on duty if we have any specialty tools for your use. Please do not go looking for them for yourselves, just ask the supervisor. Before you ever cut apart, it's often important to make sure that you lay it out first. For these purposes, we have 
our layout area. We have surface plates, and our tool cabinet holds a variety of different measuring devices, such as height gauges. And in the first drawer, we have micrometers and also some calipers and scales. The second drawer can, contains layout tools, such as layout die, scribes, squares, and parallels. The third drawer has machine tools, such as lathe tools and mill bits. As always, be sure to put back things where you found them. To my right, you can see our electronics cabinet. We have small, limited resources when it comes to the electronics station, but if you ever need to put together a circuit, we have a workstation that you can use.